uh, I know you have, a, I'm a YouTuber, just letting you know. Just like you're filming, I'm filming. Yeah. Uh, my, my subscribers want to know, why, I know you got orders from your sergeant. Why do you guys wake up these guys when there's a lot of crime around here? I hear shootings around here, dealers selling drugs. Be out here. I understand that. Center, but, but do you agree with me though? Why would your sergeant tell you to do that? Well, well, we just, you, we're, just, we're just trying to make sure that they're, every, they're okay. Right, right. right? That's, but that's I'm watching him kicking them, telling them to get up. That's you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all it is. This is for my Rocky fans only. Seriously, welcome to Narcotropolis. Fentanyl opioid epidemic. Right here in Philly. What's up, YouTubers? This is Mike for Narcotropolis. Um, if you watched yesterday's upload, first let me say, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell, so that way you're notified when I go live every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern New York time. Um, if you watched yesterday's upload, I did find Sid. I was talking to Sid. Uh, she was... I, she was very camera shy. I mean, she's embarrassed that she left. So I can understand she wanted me to put the camera down. Um, I told her it was off, but I put it down. She didn't want her in the face. I just wanted to make sure I recorded what she said so I don't forget what she said. I don't even know if the camera picked it up because I'm not wearing my microphone under my chin. I just have, I'm using the microphone from the camera. And I had the camera down to my side, so I don't even know if I picked it up. But I know what she was telling me, so... I'll edit it and I'll write down on the bottom of the screen um, what she said. Of course, uh, this is the day after upload, so I really didn't edit that yet, even though it's up. It's weird how editing YouTube videos go. It's already up. If you're watching this, it's already up yesterday. But right now, as I'm speaking, I didn't edit it yet. But if you're watching this, yes, it's up. Yesterday's upload with Sid. Uh, very disappointed, very sad. Um, that's how that's how I'm good thanks that's a, that's how strong uh, the addiction fentanyl is man it's it's man it'll it'll rip the heart right out your kids man and your mother and your father it really will guys um, uh, it really will it, it'll, it'll rip the hearts out of your loved ones talking to her man I wanted to hug her but I seen her in her face it looked like she didn't really want to be like she didn't want to be bothered it, it looked she she looked ashamed she spotted me coming she was staring at me um that's how I had it great like it was her and matter of fact if you watch yesterday's upload when it started the the guy that said YouTube I said not yet remember he was saying the YouTube guy she was with him the whole time. I walked right by her, didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. And when I came back, that's when I noticed she was there. Oh, man. Man. You know, this, this might be selfish, what I'm about to say, but it's the truth. And I get it a lot from ex-addicts. When, when you see situations like that, you, you start to feel like, thank God I'm not on that no more, you know? Because we know how it was. We knew how it was. And that's why most of us are, are the only ones besides family that understands their pain, that understands their frustration, that understands their addiction, you know? That's why when I get a lot of negative comments um, on my uploads it's from people that don't understand the addiction people that never been an addict especially an opioid addict so i think families come second but us ex-addicts we're number one that understands their pain and their frustration families come second but yeah from one addict to another i feel for her um it's devastating she 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 wants to help you know what I mean? But but right now, they didn't invent a uh, 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 medication 
that not only takes the pain from the addiction, but also takes it mentally out. We, we haven't came across that yet, because if we did, none of them would leave rehab. Uh, some rehabs give you, and I'm going to say it, bullshit comfort meds, okay? Bullshit comfort meds. Um, and, you know, they expect you to sit there and, and be in pain, you know, and, and they're in a building that's supposed to be professional, you know, technology. We're in 2024, and we're still in pain from these places. And, and that was, that's what makes us leave, you know? If she was treated good in the rehab she was, I'm not saying staff was mean to her. What I'm saying is she was treated with medication that didn't make her hurt, that didn't make her think about the streets of Kennington. She might still be there, you know? It's the system, you know? This is, I think it's a government racket. I mean, I mean they want you to get off heroin, but they, they give you methadone that it's twice as stronger and the withdrawal hurts twice as more. Uh, it's a government racket. That's what it is. They're making money off these souls, and it's very sad. You know, they can pretend to clean up the streets and, and get all the cameras from every news station here in Philadelphia and put them on the corner and make them face north. They make it look like they're cleaning the whole Kennington, but in reality, when you walk to the, at the other end, it's only one block that they're cleaning. You know, um, those are politics, ladies and gentlemen. Those are politics. And I really, really do feel for her. And, and, and my heart goes out to her mother, Rebecca, and her father, Jamie. Uh, Rebecca told me that Jamie would like to thank me personally, but I, obviously he never had a chance, you know. But as a father myself, you know, my heart goes out to them. They're trying, you know. They can't force her. She's going to want it and be ready to turn herself in to do it. So I'm sure if they can be forced, her dad would have been down here right now gripping her up and throwing her in her car and forcing her into treatment. But he understands that you can't, you know. That's not going to work. She'll be right back out in the streets once you turn your back. Um, she's going to want it, you know. And, and, and her mother told me this is her third time leaving this year. Um, so I'm guessing the first two times she was asking for help, like the third time she asked me, you know. Um, it's that, you know, when you're sitting in these places and it's boring or there's other addicts there and, and they remind you of the streets of Kensington and they talk about drugs, they miss it, and it triggers something in you. I, I, I truly believe that they shouldn't have them all bunched up like that in, in rehab. I think they should separate them because, you know, being with them addicts, it, it reminds you of out here. And how are you supposed to go into treatment if you're around a bunch of addicts? Using or not using. They still remind you of Kennington when you see them. They got the scars on their body to prove it. That's why I always said, when you're in treatment and you get out, don't ever come to Kennington. Because they're going to open up them wounds, you know? You know, she, oh man, you guys are watching this, and you watched yesterday's upload when I was talking to Sid, and I, I, I seem very upset. And some of you might think, thinking, why are you still so upset? That was yesterday. And guys, in reality, that was five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, when I talked to her. You know, this is just an extension of that upload from yesterday, so I'm still feeling it very hard. You know, I'm getting emotional talking about it. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to give points, man. I'm not, you know, how many people I help up the streets. It's not about that. It's about changing your life. You know, if you have the power to do it, do it. Look at the police officers over there. You see the police officers guy? Look, I'll show you. See them walking by? See the police officers walking by? They just looked at them people on the bench using drugs. They ain't do nothing about it. Uh, like I said millions of times, they are told not to do nothing. I get it. But 
damn. Pretty girls, man. It did, you can tell they just started using them. You can tell when they just started using them. They have less scars on their face. They're dressed nice. Uh, and they're, she just probably a couple days out here already. They get caught up in the, in the drug use, man. They can't leave. Let's see what the cops do. Let me get up. Let's go follow them, guys. They just kicking people. Wake up, wake up. Let's go see what they're doing. Up, or you okay? I'm all right. All right. Why are they worried about people sleeping in the park when there's crime going all around all over this area? I gotta, I gotta ask him. He's not gonna like it, but hey, he's, I'm gonna ask him. Excuse me, sir. I'm a YouTuber out here, right? I come out here, I got thousands of subscribers, right? My subscribers want to know. Why, why, why did, I know, I know it's not you, it's your sergeant telling you to do it, but why do they wake up people in the park when there's a lot of crime going on? You know what I'm saying? Just curious. I know you have an order, I understand that, but does it make sense? What? Uh, I know you have an order, I'm a YouTuber, just letting you know, just like you're filming, I'm filming. Right. Uh, my, my subscribers want to know, why, I know you got orders from your sergeant, why do you guys wake up these guys when there's a lot of crime around here? I hear shootings around here, dealers you guys selling drugs. Be out here. I understand that, center, but, but do you agree with me though? Why would your sergeant tell you to do that? 
Oh, uh, we just he, we're, just, we're just trying to make sure that they're every, they're okay. So, right, right. All right. That's, but that's I'm watching him kicking them, telling them to get up. That's you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all it is. Just, okay. Just, 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 okay. Just, just, okay. Just, yeah, I understand you got orders. I understand. Right, that's all. But they, they just want to know why. I got people watching from Australia, from all over the world. Right. You know? We're, we're, we're just trying to make sure that they're okay. Right. right. I see that. This, it's not an overdose. It's not any of that. There's stuff. an ambulance that goes around five in the morning. I watched them do that. Right. So that's that's all it is. Yeah, but I know you got orders, man. They should do something better. Like. They clean one block. That day they clean it was one block they clean. They should clean all of it. Can't, you know, Somerset has issues too. But man, I, I, thank you for your work, man. I appreciate your time. Oh man, I'm just being honest with them, man. You know, people want to know. Like, I know, I know they got a sergeant, you know, and they're told, but like, man, stop the real crime. These guys are not committing a crime by sleeping in the grass. Um, Usually I'm nervous to talk to cops, but that time I wasn't nervous because I had to ask them. You guys keep asking in the comment section. I see it. Why ain't the police ain't doing nothing? You know, why do they bother the, the homeless? And that's why I had to ask them. Uh, as you see, we really didn't got no answer. He was giving me, he was telling me the same thing. Like, he's not an ambulance guy. He's not a medic. The ambulance guys do that. You know, um, he said, we're just making sure they're all right. But you've seen the guy kick the guy, tell him to get up. I just don't get it, you know. Um, man, I, I love the police. I love the jobs they do. But it, it's the, the ones out here, they're like robots. You know, they're like, oh, I'm going the wrong way. They're like robots. They're told to do dumb things. That's why I was trying to get it out of him. Like, do you, basically, do you agree what you're doing? When there's crime out here, this is not a crime. Sleeping in the park, there's no signs listed up there that you cannot sleep in the park. No trespassing signs or none. This is a public park. They should be able to rest in there and lay down if they want you know, what's the difference between the park I was at on 4th of July when everybody was laying down and watching the fireworks? Some people were sleeping because these guys are addicts and the, and the other park wasn't. It's America. It's public. You should be able to lay down wherever you want. And that's not, you know, if you disturb, if you're uh, causing disturbance, that's a different issue. But do they look like they you know, this, oh God, do they look like they're doing that? No, they're not. Man, I had to ask them, listen, guys, I usually stay away from cops. I don't like talking to them because the cops down here, they got attitudes and all that. But I made sure I told them that I had thousands of viewers and they're watching from all over the world so that way they don't get out of hand and get crazy and stupid. You know what I'm saying? But he kept looking at my camera. Like, like when they see a camera, they get nervous. That's why I said I'm recording just like you're recording. I have that right, just like they do, you know? Uh, it's not just a job, it's their right. It's your right to record in public. But you can tell the camera was feeling, they are feeling uncomfortable. Especially the guy that was kicking people, and, and, I, and I said it, it doesn't look like you're doing that. It looks like he's kicking people telling them to get up. But uh, man, enough of that, guys. Please tune in tomorrow, I have more content for you. All right, I love is the key. This is Mike for Narcotropolis. Make sure you subscribe. Catch me Saturdays, Saturdays, 11 a.m. for a public live. Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern New York time. Public lives, love you guys, take care.